still a god. Many a time gone, on his wings, a distant ancestor. Every time I tried to sleep, he's in my dreams. I've barely had an hour's rest since I came to Dust Town. It's going to kill me if it doesn't drive me mad first. He's been following me here, I think. He puts me to rest, I think. He's being tormented as much as he's tormenting me. It seems it is a terrible place to find his remains. But these same robbers have angered the dead, and I'm terrified to step foot into the barrow alone. His damned ancestor is the traitor, Yarrow, has ridden. He was buried alive in the Midnight Barrow long before I was born. Unfortunately, he has no tomb, and what's left of him has been scattered around by these Draugrkin thieves. Ghouls and the bones of the dead. Necromancers and the like. They seem to be the ones who found this old lost barrow. I don't know what they came here for, but they've disturbed Jarl Hagridden, and God know what else. This place, I think. I've only seen glimpses of it in my dreams. It used to be a place where terrible criminals were exiled to be forgotten, until it took the same fate, faded into mist, just like Blackridge. His family only speaks his name to curse it. I'm told he betrayed his foes, so he was cast into the Midnight Barrow with other exiles and traitors, far out of reach of Sovendor. <laughs> whether he deserves that, but I know he suffered for it. Call it a fiend. What I've seen in my dreams are a jumble of incoherent events and feelings. There's little that I remember that makes any sense, but when I wake, there's a pall that hangs over me, like I've been wronged somehow. I remember this quest, so we're gonna do that one. Uh, also, I love her hair. Oh, my inventory is full. I should have read. But I'm not sure I can actually get her hat. You and Fen stay put until we clear a path to the undergrowth. Fine. Just don't take our gold. Go on. You and Lyris deal with any hostiles and find the others. <laughs> then we can finally test the Lyris test. We're going to find an active hair storm in the undergrowth. Or I'm going to attempt to replicate one there. Then Lyris drinks the elixir, exposes herself to the dark magic, and we wait to see what happens. Very risky. But it's also our best chance to counter the hair storms and fight back against the Greyhawks. Either Lyris comes through fine, or she transforms into a hair. Or a hair fiend. That's also. being treated like I need protection. But Lyris is right. Fen and I will just get in the way if a battle breaks out. Clear us a path to the undergrowth. Then we'll catch up with you. I only have a vague sense of where my ancestors' remains and possessions wound up. I just know his things have been scattered around by the Draugrkin's looting. Let's search quickly. The people buried here aren't the kind I want haunting me. Can we speak to Lurus now? It looks like we can. All my ancestors' remains are in my dreams, but I only know roughly where they are. So we're just going to do prisoners of the past, just because obviously we're like we're in here. Taste our steel. to hear that. Um, let's go straight and then left. remember this quest and when you try and do it like with Lyris there's parts where she won't follow you 
then just in case you did want her to be with you, just be careful where you go, if that makes sense. Where we gotta go. So wait, where are we? It's gotta go right. No remorse. I was just about to say that looks terrifying. Courage brings victory. It's just... Now I can talk to Lyris. Come on, let's clear a path for the others and find this undergrowth. In addition to the refined nether root brew, Ben needs information on the Ice Reach Coven medallions. Plus, we're hoping to learn more about the big storm the Grey Host has planned. Help Ben and Svana at the other camp, then meet me in solitude. I suppose congratulations are in order. Just remember, we still have a long way to go to end the threat of the Grey Host. For now, let's get back to the Blue Palace. I'll meet you there. Don't you love me? Yes. I'm not dreaming, right? You saw what I saw? I feel my ancestors... Oh, sacrifice for eternity. Listen to yourself, Yesenia. Even one life is too many. I can't make that kind of sacrifice. Not even for you. Sacrifice? But just what was that woman asking for? Yes. I'm not dreaming, right? You saw what I saw? I feel my ancestors' presence here. It's not wise to talk about the dead in their presence. I know I'm already being haunted, so... What did you want to talk about? Who is it I see is trying to convince me to sacrifice someone for her immortality? That's worse than anything my family ever spoke of. No one ever mentioned a woman. Hagridden was never married that I know of. <laughs> 